Hey there developers, welcome back to our how to create add-ons in Adobe Express video series. My name is Hamza and I'm a developer advocate on the Adobe Express team. Today we're diving deep into the world of testing and debugging add-ons. Testing and debugging are like the superheroes of coding, ensuring the quality and reliability of your work. So let's gear up and talk techniques and tools. We're lucky to have modern browsers with built-in developer tools that come to our rescue. These tools offer some incredible features that make debugging a breeze. Let's take a closer look at a few key ones. First up, we have the console. This is where you can log messages, errors, and even execute JavaScript code. It's like the communication hub of your code. And hey, you can even set different severity levels to highlight the importance of your console messages, such as console log, console warn, console error, and even console debug. Next up, we have the debugger. It's like a detective, allowing you to set breakpoints within your code. Once you've got those magical breakpoints set up, you can go through your code line by line, unraveling the mysteries of your code's execution flow. Let's not forget Network Monitor. It's like having a surveillance camera on your add-on's network requests. You can keep an eye on all of those requests being made, making it easier to spot any potential issues. And finally, we have the Profiler. It's your add-on's personal performance analyst. It helps you analyze the performance of your add-on and pinpoint areas where you can make improvements for better speed and efficiency. All right, now let's check out an example using console messages with a very simple setup. From within my code, I'll add a simple console log, console warn, and a console error to my button here. These will be triggered when I click on the button. Back in Adobe Express, right click on the browser window where Adobe Express is running and select inspect. This always makes me feel like I'm opening a secret passage into the world of developer tools. Navigate to the console tab in the developer tools. This is where the real magic happens. Now, if I click on the button, you'll see the console messages appear. Using these during development is really helpful. It's like being a detective in your own code base. Each console message comes with a different type of status and icon. For example, this console error that I added has an error icon, and the same with console warning. Console log just looks like a regular message, which is nice and feels less alarming. And there's also one more thing that I saved until last that is so helpful for debugging your add-ons. There's this developer tool designed specifically for debugging and troubleshooting your add-ons. It's found here on the bottom left. This tool provides logging information, status messages, and actions like refreshing and clearing data associated with your add-on. They're like the sidekick that supports you in your debugging mission. Now let's talk about testing your add-ons. Here are some best practices to keep in mind. First, write those unit tests. Unit tests are a way to test small pieces of code in isolation, making sure everything works as intended. Next, embrace testing frameworks like Jest or Mocha. These frameworks make it easier to write and run tests, saving you time and effort in the long run. And hey, don't forget to test different scenarios. Remember, users will not always use your add-on in ways that you expect them to. Cover different use cases and those sneaky edge cases. By doing so, you'll ensure that your add-ons are robust and reliable. And there you have it. That concludes our session for testing and debugging add-ons. By leveraging the power of these tools, you'll be able to identify and fix issues efficiently, ensuring the top-notch quality of your add-ons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.